Okay, welcome, 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 welcome. Let's go, Jeeves. Let's go. Look at this thing. Very, very nice. Very nice. Right, while we wait for the traffic to pass, welcome to the Throttle Tube. What's up, team? The usual stuff. Look how stupid this looks going down the road. So many people look at it. And first and foremost, what a beautiful day, man. We're almost into summer territory out here, which means a lot more filming, a lot more greenery, and a lot more cool stuff that I can stick on YouTube for you guys. But anyway, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Throttle Tube, I'm Ryan. And in this video, I thought I'd do a quick, fun, light-hearted kind of topic slash my point of view or opinions on five things that I think are kind of ridiculous or I'm not the biggest fan of when it comes to motorcycling or accessories from a rider's or motorcycle point of view. Anyway, let's start with number one. And the first thing that comes into mind that I'm not the biggest fan of is helmet accessories. You know the type where you get the fluffy helmets, the big ears, like the dreadlocks, the uh, Predator, Alien vs Predator thing. Not the biggest fan of those. All in all, personally, I find it super cheesy. I think it looks really stupid, but definitely they've got to go. I can't stand these bloody head cover things. They make your head look twice the size, especially with a big floppy rabbit is. It's so stupid. And maybe I could understand it if you're like really young. I get it. But I saw or have seen a couple of people that are probably a little bit older than me. And we're talking mid thirties territory up. And I'm not trying to take away from the fact that you can't have fun. But it just looks so stupid when a grown man takes a helmet off with his floppy ears. And here's a point, if anyone knows from experience, when you go quite fast with these uh, helmet covers, do they tend to peel back or anything like that? Because I can imagine if you go fast enough, surely the gaps will open and it will just peel off the top of your head. Or imagine an accident or doing the opposite or pulling down and you can't see. I don't know. I just think from a safety point of view as well, you shouldn't stick anything onto your helmet. Right, rolling on. Rolling. Get it? We're on a bike. That was a terrible joke. But anyway, rolling on to number two. I'm going to go with cheap eBay exhausts or fake exhausts. I can't stand them. And I get that some of you guys who do have them or if you do have them yourself, might be on a budget. But just don't do it, stick to stock. Engineers have spent countless hours and countless amounts of money to perfect these machines. And you're gonna stick a piece of tin from Malaysia or something on the side that hasn't been engineered to spec, to fit nicely. Sound hasn't been factored in. Performance hasn't been factored in. And the materials sometimes, and this has happened, if you have a big high performance bike with a lot of back pressure, they can actually explode. But other than the danger factor, they just look super tacky, especially if they're on an expensive bike. If you've got something like a BMW S1000 RR and you stick on a cheap eBay exhaust, it automatically brings it down from a 10 to a seven for no reason. And if I bought that bike off you, the first thing I'm doing is taking an angle branch of that thing. Please believe. I don't know what's worse, having a cheap exhaust on a big bike or a cheap exhaust on a small bike. I can't stand seeing these Ninja 400s and R3s or these cheap, cheap exhausts and they all sound like super loud hair dryers. And that's coming from a guy who used to have an MT-03. But at least I had the decency to put the Akrapovic one on it. But then maybe I'm just being super sour because I spent damn near three grand to put the exhaust on this bike, including tuning. Who knows? But that's number two. Now, I don't know what's worse. That or putting neons on your bike. Number three is going to have to be neon accessories. I'm trying to think of the movie. Is it Biker Boys? If anyone's seen that, it's an old movie. I think it is Biker Boys where he has the Hayabusa and they go to bike meets. It's all very cheesy. It's not even like Need for Speed call. Cool. It's just, I don't know, man. I naturally, and maybe other people do too, just imagine those cheap RGB strips that you get off eBay or like Wish or Timu or something. Let's leave the neon lights back in 2008 where they belong. Right now, I know a lot of these have been aimed at the kind of sport bikey kind of young people demographic, I guess. So I'm going to throw this one in as a curveball because don't think you cruiser boys are getting away with this one lightly. And this one is going to be over the top ape hangers and bar risers and forward foot pegs. I think there's a limit here. And in terms of aesthetics, it also goes with how you look on the bike and your stature. If you're a bigger guy, I think ape hangers and taller risers tend to look better. If you're really scrawny and half the size of your bike, it tends to look like you're hanging onto some sort of torture device. And that's where, when they get to a point where it gets too far or your legs get put too far forwards. And once you stretch those bars to a point 
where it goes beyond ridiculous and your feet go so far forward to the point where you're starfishing down the road looking like a newborn looking for a feed it gets to a point where you are literally a floating starfish flying down the road and how do you even go around corners on those things? And I know from riding plenty of Harleys with risers, the higher you go with them, the less you have to emphasize to get the bike to tip over. So at what point do you barely touch it and the bike just tips over and scrapes the sides? So yeah, sorry cruiser boys and cruiser dads. I couldn't leave you out. And what better way to end it than on number five, homemade wrap jobs. Now I tell you what, I'll add a caveat and let it slide if you've done a home wrap job and it actually looks really good. If you've done a home wrap job and it looks mint, you get a pass. Luckily, you can go sit over that side. You're clear on this video. But I'm talking about the ones that do home wrap jobs that have a bunch of creases and more bubbles than the Powerpuff Girls. At what point do you not just go, do you know what, let's just peel this off and either start again, go back to the drawing board, pay a professional. Because I saw an R3 yesterday, which was wrapped and it looked ridiculous because of these creases. And don't get me wrong, it was a good 15 feet like you could stand back maybe two car lengths it looked okay but as you got closer it kind of looked like the bike had already been crashed which made me ask have you crashed a bike and he laughed and said no what makes you think of that that wrap job that wrap job looks like you've crashed a bike six times already and put it back together with paper mache so unintentionally by doing this you're making it look like your bike has been wrapped by two house bricks or you've already crashed a bike but surely to me that defeats the purpose of wrapping the bike entirely if you're going to wrap it to make it look worse in the first place, what was the point of wrapping it in general? But hey, what do I know? I might be missing out here. Maybe I should go out and get a pink fluorescent helmet, put some bunny ears on it, chop off my exhaust, stick a soda can on it, lift these handlebars up here and stick some LEDs on this bike and I'll see what all the fuss is about. And I'm sure plenty of people would pay to see that. And I'm telling you now, that is never, ever going to happen. Well team, there you have it. That is five added accessories or modifications that I'm not the biggest fan of. Like I said, let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree with any of these. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. In the meantime, ride safe. Do not, do not go and get some bunny ears for your helmet because we cannot be friends. Just joking, of course. Stay safe. See you guys in the next one.